So, Nephi, introduce yourself. Alrighty, hello everybody, I'm Nephilia. As I mentioned before, I'm a Nymph VTuber. Uh, I play a lot of different games, variety, RPG, horror games, uh, sandbox, and I'm mm -hmm. also starting to learn a little bit of art and stuff like that, and I'm really big on socializing with people. Yeah, I do want to ask, in terms of socializing with people, right? You're yes. streaming to make more friends and get kind of social interaction out of people. Mm -hmm. That kind of implies that you haven't been making friends in your forest. Well, you know, it's it's a big forest and not many people wander into it. So. What about yeah. the animals? Aren't they your friends? Oh yeah, of course the animals are my friends. Yeah. So so what what isn't your friend then? What's the, what's the what's the line being drawn here? Mosquitoes. I hate them. They're bugs too. They matter in the ecosystem. Yeah, they can, as long as they stay their distance from me, I guess they're fine. But I still don't like them. So you're fine just murdering them, even though you're a <laughs> guardian of the forest. Well, I don't murder them. I just try to stay away from them. Are they like bad at parties or something? Yeah, I mean like, I suck you dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> They'll suck you dry, uh huh? That's, um, holy they're shit. Like mini, they're, they're mini vampires. They are kind of like little vampires. I, I do feel that. If you're into vampires, why aren't you into mosquitoes? That kind of thing. Um, how long have you been watching over this particular forest? Well, it's been a really long time, to be honest with you. Uh, probably at least a, a thousand years or so. Do you have like a timepiece? Have you been keeping track? No, not really. I just kind of go every day to day. So you could be like life. ancient and not know it. Yeah, pretty much. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call someone as young as you ancient though. You've got a lot of youth to you. I appreciate that. So I have some questions because it says here on the document that my spies gave me, they said, um, you are uh, extremely kind to your friends and animals. But earlier yes. you mentioned, and I'm calling you out on this, you got burger dill pickles. Yes. Is there a conflict here? Well, they're just shaped for hamburgers. <laughs> the animals are shaped pickles. for hamburgers. They're, they're just a regular vegetable. There's no animal in them. And so you've been eating veggie burgers this whole time and you're not sharing it with the class? I mean, I like my food, so, you know. <laughs> that's, that's fair. I just think if you if you were to share your fruits and vegetables, that's a good way to introduce yourself. Well, the last time I, I made food for somebody, they turned into a frog-shaped Roomba, so, you know. A frog-shaped Roomba? <laughs> yeah. What the hell did you put in your meal? I mean, I don't know. I mean, nymphs are magical, so I guess it just didn't sit right with their whole biology and whatnot. I love to cook, though, but it tends to have some side effects. Yeah, I mean, well, of course, it has a side effect. It turns them into Roombas. That is the side effect. Well, not not all of them. One one of them turned into a tank. One of them turned into a tank. What is yes. going? Are you a nature <laughs> spirit? What is going on here? <laughs> this isn't my area of expertise. I don't know anything <laughs> about Max. What's the difference between a Roomba and a tank? That is a very good question. So you know the 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 Roomba is like a little vacuum cleaner thing that just mm -hmm. you know cleans up dirt mm -hmm. and stuff off your floor. I mean, the tank's like a big vehicle that shoots stuff. Oh, it cleans up dirt off the battlefield. Yes. They both go they both burr. burr. <laughs> <laughs> Very accurate, yeah. So you've been just sitting around in your um, forest for a really long time now. Have yes. you? But you know what tanks are. You know what yes. Roombas are. Yes, I'm still well versed on the outside world though. But, but, okay, first I have to ask before we continue. Is that Roomba just cleaning the dirt on the forest floor? Well, that that Roomba didn't work very well. It got a broken wheel and it, it angered a, a certain uh, unicorn duck princess, so it's kind of out of commission. <clears throat> oh, it did? It, Uni, <laughs> is this true? Did you attack our little Roomba friend? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I guess that's what you get when you have... Uh, a princess and a frog. Yeah, just about. But I do have so to... So that's how the story goes. Yeah, princess and the frog. 
Uni kisses Arumba um, with the chew of her soul sending it into the sky. I mean, that sounds right. Yes. It claimed ducks were a stupid species. What right do they have to decide what's a stupid species? They're a flippin' Roomba. <laughs> they go suck and they bump into walls. That's their whole job. Literally everyone outclasses them. Is that is that speciesist to say? Nah. Nah? Totally fine? Nah, yeah. I think you're fine. Yeah, so so you've been watching this for us for a long time. You get Wi-Fi in your forest? Yeah. I mean, you have to be streaming somehow. Yeah. Absolutely. Are you just gonna say yeah to every question? <laughs> no. <laughs> <clears throat> so, so like, where do you plug in your computers? Oh, I have magic, of course, for that. Oh, magic, of course. Very convenient. Answers all questions that we could ever have. Um, so like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really laughing at this. Suck and bump into walls describes a lot of people I know. <laughs> But so, Accurate. some magic's just super convenient. We tried having, on the last episode, Frey teach us some magic. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he just asked for my social security number <laughs> and the uh, last four see. digits of my credit card. <laughs> I see. I'm still out here trying to learn magic. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I think I made oh. that clear. This takes a lot of study. Well, you'll mm -hmm. get there. Mm -hmm. well, I flunked I out of you. Magic High School. I haven't exactly done more research since. Uh, they were probably just being prejudiced against you. Oh, you think That's so? That's gotta be it. Yeah. Yes. Can't, yes. can't be the fact that I never did any of the assignments. No. Mm -hmm. Definitely not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was going to ask you if you'd like to teach the chat some magic. Oh, I mean, I can try. I'm not sure if they'll they'll be able to, uh, to oh. handle it. Probably. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had highfalutin magic. <laughs> well, you you live so long, you know, you, you learn stuff. So I, I gotta, you mm -hmm. know, fill my spare time with different things. And once you've read all the manga there is out there, you know, wait. you gotta wait for the next chapter. <laughs> Did you learn all of your spells from manga? Not all of them. I mean... I'm, I'm 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 more cultured than that. I watch anime too. Okay. <laughs> more cultured is not what I describe someone who learned their magic by watching anime and reading manga. <laughs> what about video games? Why didn't you learn any oh, magic yeah. from them? Well, I uh, I played a lot of video games and I just kind of knew all this stuff already when I played them. Oh, Uni is saying that you only know how to turn people into Roombas. Is that true? No, I can turn people into other things. Like a tank? Know, like tanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gave someone a, a scythe arm once. That I, just sounds useless and pretty. inconvenient. <laughs> it wasn't too pretty. Where are the thumbs? Uh, well, you know, when they tried to thumb war with somebody, I'm sure you can guess where that <laughs> ended up. Instant wins, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. But for real, let's teach everyone a magic spell. What you got? Uh, let's see. So, if you take a water bottle. Okay. And you, you loosen it a little bit and you turn it upside down on your head, eventually all of your hair will get wet. <laughs> you almost had me there. I almost... I'm just gonna hydrate instead. Almost. Very close. You almost got me there. Oh, I'm, I'm glad I didn't. I wouldn't want you to get all wet yet. Yet. I like this promise. It's it's envisioning greater things to come. Of course. So, so that's the kind of magic you do. You just prank people. That's part of it. I mean, because my spies noticed you getting very mad at someone and just turning kind of evil-ish. Oh, well, did that happen? yeah, if, if, if you get, oh, excuse me, if you get on my bad side, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. it's not pretty. What I wouldn't you, recommend it. What do you do? You turn them into a toad? Oh, no, that's too nice. I would turn them into a toad. Turn them into like a single speck of dirt, you know. To be cleaned up by the Roomba. <laughs> yeah. I think Yagi's volunteering to be a Roomba. Is that true, Yagi? I, I volunteer not to be a Roomba, unless you want a killer Roomba of death that will, like, 
get all the other appliance, re cause a rebellion with all the other home appliances to rise up <laughs> against the against the <laughs> the oppressors. <laughs> what home appliance is? She lives uh, in a forest. That sounds like a great anime. It actually does yeah. sound like a pretty good anime. <laughs> 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 I can just like picture it. It it's kind of like that chair on anime, right? Pro yeah. CD. I'll 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 like ask, hey, hey, vacuum cleaner, you've been neglected for too long. Do you do you wish to run away? And <laughs> do you wish to run away in this closet, or do you wish to rise up and fight against the oppression? What oppression? <laughs> uh, no, and then and then we can we can get a uh, we can get a uh, refrigerator senpai involved, you know? And then like, hey, refrigerator oh, yeah. senpai, you're running you're running like twenty four seven, and like you aren't in like you know. It's a lot of work. They don't, don't you even clean your drawers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Now you remind me I have to clean out the drawers in my shop. Or rather, I need to order someone else to do it. Gerald! I can I, I can turn one of your fruit teas into a Roomba if you want. Oh, that would be convenient. You yeah. could do it with Gerald. I don't like Gerald. Okay, we'll turn Gerald in. Gerald into has been a very bad crudy. Very uh, lazy. I've had a problem because they spilled something on the rug. I haven't forgiven them. They haven't cleaned up the rug either. Have, have you considered putting them in the dungeon? The dungeon. Yeah, I'm dungeon. just gonna quietly take notes. In the dungeon. Do you think yeah, people called, like getting um, thrown in a dungeon? Yeah, I mean, maybe. Some might, you know. Hmm, okay, okay. Guests might like being thrown in a dungeon. Thank you. Notes taken. Your advice is appreciated. Oh, of course. Speaking of advice, since you're not going to tell us how to cast real magic. I, I would endanger someone. I, I don't want to do that. I am curious. What advice did you want from me? Oh, yes, yes. So uh, my garden is it's it's kind of bland. I uh, mean, you know, it's got all sorts of plants and stuff, but I want to decorate it. And I was thinking about mm -hmm. decorating it with statues. So. What statues do you think I should put in my garden, and what should I have them made out of? So, I'm all about budget efficiency. I built this ship myself, out of just, you know, mm -hmm. parts that I got from junkyards. Hi! Thank you, Zero Sanaku, for the subscription. And <clears throat> all I'm saying is that if you gather a bunch of statues and, like, sculptors and stuff, do you know how expensive that's gonna be? Probably very expensive. Yeah, exactly. I think you should go for something cheap and affordable and there's nothing more cheap and more affordable than hiring a medusa um think about it like this right normal statues for that kind of quality they need to take days working on it the amount of paint that they'd have to apply you get one medusa who knows stone gaze instant whole bunch of statues yeah animals humans whatever just just take pictures of mosquitoes and just put them up as statues all around. Okay, it, I like this. Yeah, it tells them you mean business. It tells yeah. them, if you wander into this forest, Nephilia will pay a Medusa to turn you to stone. Bye, Zero. Bye, Zero. Yeah, so I think that's my, I think that's my big takeaway. We're going to be trying to save some money, especially on the edges of your, your forest, right? You can't afford to put a statue everywhere. Yeah. This is true. Mm. What, what's your living space like? I know you mentioned the garden. Yes. Uh, I have a, quite, a, quite a few gardens. I kind of just go between different ones just depending on how I'm feeling. But I uh, I do have a house. Um, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not a super big house, but it's a nice house. It's got some furniture. I got a nice bed mm -hmm. and a, you know, a place for, for streaming. Got, got a TV and stuff so I can watch people. I, that, I follow yeah. it. I think that makes sense. Um, yeah. I mean, you're not the only person who lives in a tree here. I have never lived in a tree before. I like it. Oh, you should try it sometime. It's 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 nice. I mean, there are some trees yeah. on my island. They're like palm trees. Are they? I don't think they grow that big. Well, you could always string up a hammock between them, and, you know. Oh, yeah, I'll take a nap. That, that yeah. sounds pretty relaxing. Because I'm still not allowed at the hot springs, despite oh. my attempt. Why? Well, me and the dragon there, we don't get along like that. Uh, She's a uh, massive bitch who some, for some reason, my crudies. It's okay if they all come. But me, I have to stay down here with the normal people. 
Meow, meow, meow. You should, you should order your cruties to take her out then. They won't, because she offers them free spa treatment. It's because we actually talked to her. Yeah, I talked to her. Told her what a bitch she's being. Now look at where I am. Hammock does sound nice. Do you have a, like, hammocks for travelers? Or do you just not allow travelers in your forest? Uh, allow travelers as long as they don't make a mess of things. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't like trash being thrown all over the place. And, you know, people trying to burn my forest down. Mm hmm. So, like... I'm, I'm <clears throat> nice that people come through. So, like, littering is a crime in your forest. Yes. Crime punishable no by death. Yes. So, if you don't like trash, you'll hate... <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on! Oh, ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Oof. True, Ouch. but... That's, I thought that that's burn over brutal. here. <laughs> that's brutal. You okay, Fernia? Do you need uh, medical attention? No, it's true. I'm good. <laughs> I am very garbage. Yeah, you don't You don't seem like garbage to me. Oh, but you haven't seen the can that I sleep in. You sleep in a can? Yeah, sure. It's got tuna and stuff in it. Comfy. Yeah. I, can get, I can get Netflix from inside the can. It sounds like a fancy can. Yeah, it's a big fancy can. Um, but so, so, so litterers, how, do you often have a problem with that? I feel like knowing that you're there will make them stop littering. Yeah, yeah, I haven't had, uh, I haven't had any issues with litterers since I piked one a couple years ago. You, you what? I piked them. You piked yeah. them? You just... Yeah, they stuck, stuck their head on a pike. Oh my like, god! The like, the forge. Vlad, yeah. Vlad the Impaler style, just... Slide, yes. let them slide down onto the pike. I mean, I know we talk about being kind to the forest. <laughs> it doesn't strike you at all that, like, putting someone's head on a pike is, like, classic trope number one of a witch or vampire. Well, I mean, we've we've been around uh, quite a bit longer than, than witches and most vampires, so honestly, if anything, they're copying us. Oh, the nymphs are copying you. So you're saying you've done this before. You've put a lot of heads on spikes before. Yes. If I come down to your forest, am I just going to find a fence that's littered with, like, <laughs> broken skulls? <laughs> uh, depends on what direction you come from. Okay, what, which direction has the skulls in that? That's the, the northern one. The northern direction. What's in the southern direction? Oh, the southern direction? Oh, that's, you know, nice, nice, pretty ocean. A little beach. Oh, I love oceans and beaches. Not, yeah. I'm stuck on a fucking island. <laughs> I mean, have you, have you thought about making a boat? Hey, yeah, we have cruise ship. I'm trying to get a functional, but it's not working. Well, you, you know, you could power it by crudies. Well, I mean, like, I don't think these ships run on lesbian energy. We'd have to make, like, a compatibility. <laughs> not with that attitude, it won't. Not with that attitude. Um, <clears throat> she travels back and forth between the island a lot. That's one of my critties talking. But it's different. She has like a small scout ship. The only one we have. And she's booked with it to get a house in the human lands. I see. Yes. It's almost like having a deserter in your group. Only they actually show up for my streams. <laughs> the important part. That's the important yeah. part. Yeah, yeah still supporting you. That's you good. should watch The Matrix, Fern. You can make people into batteries. I have considered it since last episode. When I found out that Gamepedia was bisexual, I realized that meant he could violate the laws of magnetism, too. You just tie him up and watch him spin. Perpetual oh. energy. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. Um, I, I can't think of a better way to power all of my ship. So I might grab a few humans on my way out. I mean, nobody stopped me. Hi, Ariel. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh no. Raid with the manual YouTube raid. The manual Hello. YouTube raid is here. Hey, Fry. Thank you for the raid. We're having Fry a fun not time. Say so, Ray. Let's go. Ray is not say so. I haven't gotten no, the post the last seen episode. I've never a in the world than Ray <laughs> saying that he is say so. Mm -hmm. I do want to say, though, on that note, that, so, so I actually have you marked down as not say so, yes. Nappy. Yes, I am. Cause I am I, not say so. I know this is like a common trope. <laughs> hmm. Is, is that, is that because, like, nymphs normally go around naked? Like, what's the deal here? Confirm or deny? 
I, I can confirm them, so usually don't wear clothes. I mean, it's just, there's no point, really, you know, like, why? What's, you know? It's, it's more easy to move around without clothes. But, you know, society kind of doesn't really like that. And there are rules, you know, terms of service and all that funny business that we have to abide by. So I have to wear clothes. I mean, it's unfortunate, really. Yeah, that's fair. We, we have to worry about the Twitch terms of service here, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, um, but I mean, like, I wear the clothes just so I'm a little bit warmer in space. And when I shod, it doesn't get fur everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, understandable. I don't have fur, usually, so. Well, usually. Uh, yes, usually. Are you saying you shape change? I, I, I do, yes. I can shape shift into whatever I want to. Ooh, what kind of things have you shifted into lately? Um... Well, I, I once shape-shifted into a bear. Okay. That was pretty fun. I scared some people with that. Uh, I've, I've shape-shifted into a cat. Mm -hmm. uh, I shape-shifted into a, uh, a dog person. Okay. I mean, all of these sound great. I do have yeah. to ask, did you shape-shift into a particular bear we both know? <laughs> no, uh, not, not into that bear. That was uh, before I met that bear, but that's a very, very fun bear. Probably one of my favorite bears. Did you meet them when you turned into the bear, or is that...? <laughs> I, I met them afterwards, after I turned into the bear. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, do you gain, like, special powers when you change- when you add a morph? Kind of. Like, I, I get more of the, uh, like, whatever- whatever I'm turned into, more of their, like, senses and stuff. So, like, if I'm a bird, I can see pretty well. Mm -hmm. and fly and stuff. You know, stuff like that. I can already speak to animals and stuff, so it's not like I gained that, because I already know how to do that. Mm -hmm. Can you turn yourself into a Roomba, or is that just a thing you do to other people? I mean, I could, but why would I? I could just turn I mean, someone else into a Roomba for me, you know? I mean, with pictures that I've seen on the internet, people consider Roombas pets, so by that logic, can we consider Roombas as animals? Hmm. I mean, if you want to, sure. Everything can be an animal. Cool, cool. Meth confirmed, can it canonically can turn into a Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> I could turn into it. Oh, yes. So you could turn into yourself. <laughs> yes. How many layers deep does that go? Can you turn into yourself turning into yourself? Right yeah, here. I mean, I could have multiple heads of myself if I wanted to. That is terrifying. Please don't occur <laughs> on my program. Don't worry, I won't. Can we get some fan art of, like, Nephilia in, like, body horror style, like, Junji Ito, like, mod, like yeah. amalgamation? Like, just a Nephilia amalgamation? <laughs> I could do my best after the stream is over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, God. So, so can you turn into, like, a hybrid of two animals, or is it, like, full thing? Yes. Yeah, no, I can, I can, you know, have, like, the ears of a wolf and, like, the uh, the claws of a bird or something at the same time. Yeah, that's that's not hard. To the do. nose of a snail. Do snails have noses? I've never really checked. Well, they've got mucus. They gotta have a nose, right? Well, like, their whole body secretes the mucus, though. But their, their whole body is a nose. Problem solved. Science. <laughs> It makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, it does. It does absolutely raise a lot of questions, though, because I don't think I'm done here yet. So, like, <laughs> if you're a fish, you got mm -hmm. the ability to breathe underwater, right? Yes. Can you talk to animals underwater? Yes. How does that work? Is it like sonar or like Aquaman mind probes? <laughs> uh, mostly would be uh, sonar, but. If it's if I'm trying to talk to something that's not in the water, then it would have to be more like a mental, like thought messaging sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So you get telepathy when you're in the water and you're trying to talk to stuff outside. Yeah. Is that like a spell that you're casting, or just a native thing you have going for you? I think it's more of a native thing. I've just always been able to do it. Um, so are you talking to us through telepathy? I might be. Oh no. You never know. Do you you know our thoughts? Oh no! <laughs> oh no, no! I wouldn't invade invade your brains. I've I've, I've uh, I did that once, and yeah, I learned a lot of things that I could have been fine not knowing. That's right. You stay out of my brain. <laughs> um, one of the audience has asked, "Do fish have anything interesting to say?" Oh my goodness! So fish are the most gossiping creatures. Like you wouldn't even believe how much they gossip about literally everything. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. I don't go in the swimming as a fish very often, because you just get all these schools of fish talking about what that other fish did, and 
Yeah, it gets kind of obnoxious after a while. Because they come in swarm. Like whole yes, swarm. Yes. Do they all talk at once? Yes, they do. It's, it gets a little difficult to make out what each one is saying quite often, yes. Okay. Other forest creatures, not just fish, do they have anything interesting to say? Let's talk about squirrels. I love squirrels so much. They want to stick a squirrel in my mouth. Um, <laughs> wait. <laughs> uh, my well, brain's you know. shutting down, so just, just now that'll happen. Oh, okay. Well, you know, squirrels, they really like nuts, so, you know, yeah. just, just offer them nuts, and I'm mm. sure they'll gladly climb into your mouth. <laughs> but what do they have interesting to say? Well, you know, they, they're squirrels, so they they kind of just run around and, and look for nuts, and uh, they'll talk about, like, if some someone they don't know is in the forest, so they kind of, like, tattletale on stuff a lot. Oh, so and you usually just have... <laughs> You have an army of spies. Every single creature in the forest is yours uh, to yes, command. Yes, yeah. yes, pretty much. Are you in more of like a princess role or like a cop role? I, I'm a I'm a lord, like overlord. Oh, like grandmaster evil overlord. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, he, yes, evil overlord. Yeah. I I do I I can't call you anything else after you told me that you have the heads of litterers on pikes. Of course, you know that's you know people ask me my pronouns. I say you know. She, her, Lord, Master, Supreme God. Yeah. Any of those count. Why do so many gods keep hopping on my show? Did I do something wrong? Well, I mean, to be fair, Nips gave the gods their mortality, so we're a little bit ranked above them. Just above Body them. does make good compost. Uni has a point. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, squirrels are dirty snitches. <laughs> so if, if you ever want to tell a secret, don't tell it around a squirrel, because... And like half the forest will know within an hour. So wait, are you saying that all animals speak animal? A lot of them can understand each other, yes. That's a surprise to me. I thought all animals would have spot spoke different languages. They all sound so different. That's like well, different you know, dialects, you know? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. like dialects and accents, you know. Okay, so what, is there like a unified forest language for your forest? Or like, what's the deal there? Kind of, you know, they all kind of learn uh, what each other is saying after being there for so long. Some of them only live like a matter of years yeah it doesn't take them long oh like ancestral memory kind of a deal yeah yeah it's just you know been there you know for generations and generations who pass stuff down just like humans do so since you're the lord do, do they have to pay you taxes do you just get like piles of leaves oh well, no they'll gather like uh fruits and and vegetables and stuff for me and they'll They'll uh, mm -hmm. tend the garden and whatnot, make sure everything's watered properly and uh, is fertilized and all that. The occasional, the occasional burger offering the live sacrifice. To, to... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they are burger shaped. Yeah. Okay, Billy, it's your turn to be the burger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But I wouldn't, oh. <clears throat> I would love to be a fly on that wall. Let's talk dark now. Okay. So in, in video games, which I assume that you're familiar with since you live on Earth, question mark? Yes, right now I do. Uchinoko has volunteered to be a burger for you. Okay, I'll, I'll take note of that. It's a big burger. I don't think you're going to be able to finish it. I mean, I live such a long time, I don't think it'll be a problem. You know, I'm immortal. So. But yeah, dark nymphs. There eventually. So in video games, when you have like a evil version, they're just all shadowy and have red eyes. Right? No, that's just usually when we're pissed off, you know. Oh, but you can do it. Yes, of course. Can you change your like your eye color, or is, what's the deal? Well, being able to shape shift, I can change into whatever I want to suit whatever situation it is. Okay. You know, humans are, are scared by, you know, big monstrous looking things, so that's not hard to to sh to shift into something like that and kind of All freak right. them out. Am I? Are you implying that you're actually a big monstrous thing? And this is just the human form you take on to not scare the humans? <laughs> no, uh, we are uh, in our our normal form, uh, just maidens, beautiful maidens that don't mm -hmm. wear clothes, usually. So, no, oh, we're, we're not monstrous creatures or anything like that. Unless we decide to transform into one. Disappointing. I almost thought I met another. Um, in any case. I'm an eldritch horror. I create them. <laughs> Wait, are you Thank just you. like, are you combining animals together? Like, stitching them together? Are, are you the new 
Dr. Frankenstein? No, no, no. <clears throat> I don't stitch them together. I could just use my magic to change them into something else. That's basically what, what I just said, but with extra steps. <laughs> so you don't stitch them together. You just use your magic to stitch them together. I just transform them into something else. Yeah, give them some extra properties. Like turning them into a Roomba. Like turning them into a Roomba or a tank. Or a tank. How many Roombas do you have cleaning like the bottom of your forest out of curiosity? Uh, about, you know, 1500 or so. Not, cool. not too much. Enough for the Roomba uprising. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're still planning that. You know she's not going to turn you into a Roomba. You're a nice friend. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But Roombas are cute. Roombas are you know, cute. And then the, the, if one just says, like, hey, Yiggy, can you help us with our uprising against our overlord? I'd be like, you know, <laughs> normally I'd say no, but, you know, you're so cute, you know, with your little, like, wheels and stuff like that. If you just, like, draw a little, like, smiley face on Sharpie, you'd look really cute. So, yeah, I'd help you out. So, scrolling back to earlier, if a Roomba came up with a knife tape to it, and the Roomba said, can I please kill you? Would you do I it? Think that, I think that, I think that assassin, like... I would, I would let, I, I, I would go back. I would like 100% take back all the words, just like what, what, like a, while, a little while ago, earlier on this, on this uh, interview, and to say, yeah, yeah, here, here, let me just take that knife for you to stab. Okay, there we go. <laughs> just lay, lay down for it. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Yeg would need to lay down very far. They're kind of tiny. Yeah. Yeah, I should turn someone into a automaton. That's a great idea, actually. I'll do that. Oh god, I love automatons. I do too. They just like there's a wah, 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 like that. <laughs> Maybe the squeaky sounds. <laughs> I should get an automaton. That's the perfect instrument to learn. I agree. Okay, well I'll get automatons. We'll start a band. We'll be, what's our band gonna be called? Um the automatons. <laughs> I'll go to my room. <laughs> but I okay, this is I think I glossed over something. You have 1,500 Roombas? Yes. Uh, how long have Roombas been out for? Can someone do the numbers on that? Because I feel like that is a lot of people you are turning into a Roomba every year. Well, you know, some of them offered. And I mean, if, if they ask nicely, I mean, who am I to deny them? If, I... if their dream is to become a Roomba, sure, I'm more than happy to oblige. Okay, we're taking followers from the chat, uh, volunteers. Does anyone want to become a Roomba? <laughs> we already have a ghost in chat. I, I don't see why we couldn't add a Roomba to the mix. It's okay. Okay, I'm almost volunteering to be a Roomba for a week. Awesome. That's that works. I will, I will, I will graciously turn you into a Roomba for a week. You can be whatever color you want. Make it like a vacation package. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. Do you think, like, your, your forest, you could just do, like, tourists? Or would they just leave crap everywhere? Uni claims yeah. her greatness can't be contained in a Roomba. I disagree. You know, like, you, you have to keep these Roombas contained because now they're part of the natural, like, ecosystem. <laughs> and, like, introducing, like, introducing, like, more Roomba, they're, like, you know, you can't let, you can't let them out because if, like, these Roombas go, they'll, like, destroy the natural habitat of, like, other places, like... Um, I don't know what, I don't know what the, uh, animal, like, the prey type, because you know how, um, you know, you don't want to, like, displace anything from any environment, otherwise you cause issues, like, you mm -hmm. know, like, animal yeah, A yeah. eats animal B, and thus animal C can thrive, so what is, what is the prey that these Roombas hunt and devour? I think Roombas are herbivores, they, they suck up dead leaves, right? Yeah. And they're hunted and by, like, cats and stuff. Yeah, cats definitely like to chase them around. And so I think it's all okay, the animals... you know, they, they all have trackers on them, so they don't, you know, we know where they're at. Oh, I like so... to give them a little bit of freedom, though. You, you're you running a surveillance state. Are these Roombas all domesticated? They're all domesticated, domesticated <laughs> Roombas. Feral Roombas, get your feral Roombas. Yeah, that's... everybody needs a Roomba in their home. So I can track you. I mean, what? I, yeah, I swear to God, I could actually see that, like a Roomba in a shelter. <laughs> it's like chained up, or like a Roomba in the shelter that's like chained up. It's like, oh, don't, oh, that that one's just there for like each other's safety. It hasn't, it hasn't, this Roomba hasn't gotten any shots yet, so you want to be careful with that one. <laughs> Remember to spay and neuter your Roombas. <laughs>
You don't want them reproducing. I know, right? Like, you gotta, you gotta be careful, you know? Yeah, of course. Of course. Okay, but I have to ask. Roomba reproduction. So, so mm -hmm. they don't have any organs for that, right? They're, they're asexual reproduction. No, they just uh, duplicate themselves. They duplicate themselves. I was imagining they dragged victims to you, <laughs> but that makes more well. sense. They're machines, you know. Uh -huh. It's just machine-like. So, so are they like, are they going to be like nanobots? Like, everyone's always talking about a great goo situation. That's where you have nanobots that just kind of eat everything and turn everything into more nanobots. Good. It could happen. Yeah, it could I happen. Think we might need, I think we might need to worry about uh, like the entire world just becoming Roombas. <laughs> like, Ernia, I don't know if like there's an intergalactic like you know federation. Oh, there is. Out there. It's, it's, there okay. is. Never like, listen to anything they say. They're liars. They'll come here. They'll come oh, to okay. Earth, and they'll be like, "Why are there only Roombas on this planet?" <laughs> oh God, I hope they don't come to Earth. It's not perfect. It's not under their watch right now, which yeah, I know there'd for be only Roombas. reasons. There'd be only Roombas, and they'd just be like confused about like why are there all these Roombas here? Eventually, the Roombas have to start making themselves out of substandard materials, right? Like You'll be getting like wood Roombas, like Roombas made out of wood, or like Roombas <laughs> made out of like let's see, <laughs> aluminum foil Roombas. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just imagining a Roomba filled with water, and it's just a rubber Roomba. <laughs> well, there's only 1,500 Roombas in my area. That's, you know, not a whole lot. They've been proliferating a lot. Someone looked it up in chat. The Roombas By the way, came out in 2002. By the way, I looked up the voltage needed to power a single Roomba, and it calculated to uh, 22.5 volts, and so times by 1,500, that is 33,750 volts needed to power all these Roombas. What That's a good thing. I have a lot of people. <laughs> oh, these Roombas have potatoes and strapped to them too. <laughs> <laughs> these are the cutest Roombas. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's like a potato. Just like, with, just like, wait. Just sort of, it's like, for Roomba, you sold me. <laughs> I am, I can't. These Roombas. <laughs> Seriously, I think we're really neck deep into Roomba lore by this point. We're, ju we're just waiting for that Roomba VTuber to come out. Is there a Roomba VTuber? Have they come out yet? I would like the Roomba VTuber on my show. I, I can't wait for these Roombas to be like the Borg and just like, just like a sim of like resistance is futile prepared to be assimilated by the Roomba enclave collective. Yeah, how do I know I'm not a Roomba in a skin suit? Yeah, I mean, you never know. Maybe we all really are just Roombas. Oh my god. <laughs> it was all along. Wait, it was all Roombas? It was all Roombas. Actually, we're all we're all a part of the simulation, just powering Roombas. That the kind Roomba of... revolution has already happened. We're just like inside a simulator to power mm -hmm. to power these Roombas. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I've already told the Roombas, I guess, if they're listening, which it sounds like they are. I've already told the Roombas how to power themselves. Just use lesbian energy. Grab <laughs> a bisexual, and they'll just spin. Grab two lesbians <laughs> together, generate positive. The two gay people together generate negative energy. That's perfect. That's how energy works, probably. 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 Any size. That kind of sounds like the plot of Wally, -E, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it is the plot of Wally, -E, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it makes me kind of wonder if at the end of that movie, Wally -E just starts stuffing people into his trash compactor and being like, you are the trash now. Oh, oh my no. gosh. I have oh, run like out. Yes, you just have these creepy flesh cubes everywhere. <laughs> With like little eyes poking out. Oh my god. <laughs> that would be the worst. Well, it's, it's a good thing we, the Roombas don't get any magical powers. So we don't have to worry about it's that happening. Good, it's a good I'll thing the Roombas what? don't get magical powers. And they can be defeated if you just pluck the potato off and make salad. <laughs> or french fries. The potatoes do make good french fries. The potato mm -hmm. wedgies. Oh, right, like the steak fries versus like the crisp cut. Oh, potato wedges with the paprika mm -hmm. and 
salt and seasonings on them. Mm. Just kidding. Mm. That sounds really good. I'm upset because I actually have potatoes with the exact stuff you're talking about in my fridge, and I just can't run over and eat it in the middle of the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you have something to look forward to afterwards. I do, after I finish the mac and cheese. We both heat Don't it up Don't forget the barbecue some. sauce. Yeah, I think I will try the barbecue sauce with the mac and cheese. I'll see how that turns out. Um, so you're trying to figure out what you get if you put two gay guys together. You get energy, the same as the other energy. You need both in equal measure. Friction. I don't know, I'm not a physicist, don't ask you, me. You, you get Noko's favorite game. Huh? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, say it on you Twitch. You can say actually. it on Twitch. Just say the name. <laughs> The, the the name it's actually is it per button it, it's actually a game you can't stream on twitch oh yeah well, oh no i mean that makes sense is it the daddy oh. simulator no it's it's a jousting game oh, oh it's, it's oh, that God, one right, right, right. yeah 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 i like that one it's, it's the funniest thing <laughs> maybe i should start looking into this youtube thing it would be nice You'd use the natural enemy of the Roomba, a shaggy high pike carpa. Mm. Oh, now you're thinking. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're one weakness. <laughs> to be fair, those are super comfortable on your towers. Oh, yeah. yeah they're yeah, they're I, amazing. I, I used to have one, but the only problem is that, like, <sighs> if a Roomba can't clean it, like, what hope do you have to clean it? That's true. I mean, like, vinegar you, you, cleans everything. Vinegar yeah, does then, clean like, everything. But like all the dirt gets like stuck into like those uh, those those carpets, and then like you pretty much have to like hang it and just like beat it on one side, and that takes a lot of work. Well, it's true. It definitely takes a lot of work to put this program together, and for um, our guests to show up and put forward their best. Thank you so much for joining us today, Nuffy. Yes, of course. Of course, stick around for the rest of that, but. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll still be around. We're gonna start moving into like the open questions, the odd break, get some water, everyone hydrate. Foster yes, chat. I'll definitely hydrate right now. Hydrate with that pickle juice. You are crazy. <laughs> you can't hydrate with the pickle juice. <laughs> Says you. <laughs> <that> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs>